Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 Battle Series. We're in the Ultra Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're going to continue on with this team that we've been playing at the start of the week. Today, which is made up of Altaria, which is the mega of the team, Raichu, Landorus Theorin, it's got the Z move, the Misty Seed, Eveltal, Duskmane, Necrozma, which is also Ultra Necrozma, and then the Tapu Fini. We haven't seen too much of the Duskmane Necrozma yet, so hopefully we can see a little bit more of that today. The team is down in the description below. There's a Roll Pace and a Poker Pace. If you'd like to check it out and even try it out, do let me know how you get on if you do have a play around with the team, um, and we'll just jump straight into it today. Let's get started with some Galilean music um but yeah ah uh, we had such a close game yesterday uh to finish up with where it all came down to our Altaria not outspeeding a plus one Xerneas uh, and we were in tailwind and um, it was really disappointing that we and that kind of cost us the game if we'd just been able to outspeed there so important to get these benchmarks and uh, that's what I mentioned yesterday but we got a first opponent today so let's jump straight into team so first of all, today is running a team of Ferrothorn, Kyogre, Talonflame, Pikachu, uh, Incineroar, and Rayquaza. So Rayquaza and Kyogre core here. We've got some really nice picks. You've got support options there, and the, the Pikachu going to have that Lightning Rod. It's probably got its Orb as well to boost its um, its special attack by two. And then the Incineroar with the Intimidate there, the Talonflame, going to be able to set up Tailwind, which this team's probably predominantly going to rely on. And then the Ferrothorn, which is going to be, again, another Trick Room check for this team if we do see that. Uh, okay, do we want to bring Landorus? I think probably Landorus is decent here. The Intimidate's quite important for that Rayquaza, the Talonflame. And it does threaten the Incineroar and the, the Pikachu, as well as the Kyogre, as long as the Tailwind's not set up. Um, I think I will bring Eveltal to help set the Trick Room up. Uh, we do and will need some form of... Uh, switch in for Kyogre at least um, and Tapu Fini doesn't do a do bad job at that and I think I want to abuse the fact that we've got Altera here with its Cloud9 ability and Flamethrower that we can get that Ferrothorn with so we'll lock in with these four and kick right into it yeah Dustman Necrozma could be good here as well um, but I feel like the other components of the team hold up a lot stronger so we'll see we'll see how we get on here um we need to start winning we need to start winning i think we're what what are we um two three four four and two which isn't great which isn't great at all but we're getting back into the swing of things as always and we always use the first week to kind of look at the team see what we need to change up on it you know we've already got a few things where it's already said earlier in the week nature's madness on finney would be good um, and I think obviously that speeds that on Mega Altaria or maybe another Mega in that slot might be good as well. So if you've got suggestions, do suggest a way. Things that would suit this call that would be really useful and we might try them when we come back to this either next week or the week after. So we're going to see Incineroar and Rayquaza come out for my opponent. I think what we'll do here is straight away is to switch in Tapu Fini, protect our Eveltal and keep Landorus in uh, all nice and safe in the back there and preserve that in uh, Intimidate for later on as well where it might become a bit more useful uh, after one of these Pokemon might switch out. So you will see Landorus and leave the field. Uh, Tapu Fini going to now come in, get its Misty Terrain up and also to boot get our Misty Seed activated as well on our Ibelto. So <coughs> We are going to see the Rayquaza Mega Evolve. Like a Mega Rayquaza. Do you think Mega Rayquaza is going to be ridiculously strong? I think it's going to have a really good showing at Worlds as well. Again, like in 2016, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if it does win the event. We're going to see a fake out here. It's into the Tapu Fini and the Dragon Ascent going to be into our event or so. Um... I don't mind either of those. I think what we'll do is we'll go for an icy wind and we'll set our tailwind up right now um, while we can. So the Rayquaza are gonna protect. We might just see a U-turn from the Incineroar. And we do get our tailwind up for free. 
which is really useful and there's the icy wind from the Tafafini could have went for a scald into that Incineroar there that would have been good we'll probably see a U-turn like I say from the Incineroar it's going to reposition going to be into the Veltal after we protected last turn makes sense to go for that slot um, what comes in? is it going to be the Pikachu? could be Pika 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 or the Kyogre I guess but I wouldn't really I don't know and more likely think the Pikachu probably hits the field now that would be my best guess but we're gonna have to just wait there it is there we go little Pikachu there you are so there's the um, I think what we'll do is we'll go for the Icy Wind and we'll go for a foul play into the Rayquaza Pikachu can only fake one thing out and it is going for the Evelto. Um Yeah, so we'll get this Icy Wind off, which is good. We'll break a potential Sash on the Pikachu if it is holding a Sash. Uh, if not, we just get some decent damage onto it and lower the speed of that Rayquaza as well. We'll probably see a Dragon Ascent here. It is minus one, um, so it will be into Evelto. We should be able to take this pretty handily. Um, and we can, like the next turn, we can always heal Pulse. Um, and that's the beauty about this combination we got here. Um, and we can heal Pulse Snarl, and I think that's not a bad idea to do, because I think what we'll probably see is the Pikachu attack, but the Rayquaza, the Rayquaza, the Rayquaza will probably protect the Pikachu will attack. That's what I mean. I'm going to see extreme speed. Is it going to be enough? Ah, oh, it's enough. That's the worst. That is literally the worst. Now we're going to lose Finny, I think. Full tackle, 100%. We're going down. There's no way we can win this now, I don't think. Ah, uh, I didn't expect an extreme speed to do. Okay, I'm sad now. Okay, so we'll get Landorus in, we'll get Altaria in. I don't know how we're gonna beat the Kyogre though. I really don't. Um, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be very difficult. Uh, and we can't really Earthquake. I mean a rock slide would probably be enough to get the, the Pikachu anyway, so we could just, uh, I mean, one thing we could do is just go substitute, get a sub up, that might be better, and go Hyper Voice, yeah, Mega Evolve and Hyper Voice, it will get Rayquaza, it will get Pikachu, we're going to see Rayquaza switch out, and the Incineroar hit the field once again, what's the Pikachu going to do now? It's probably going to go down. The Rayquaza is going to reset that and Intimidate drop, though. That's the big thing, I think, for it. The Intimidate drop onto Landorus isn't ideal. So we'll get the sub up with Lando, which is decent. Um, Hyper Voice, yep. We'll get the Pikachu, get some decent damage onto the Incineroar. Actually, not bad damage on... Uh, that's why it's a crit. That's why in, in, Altaria is just weak isn't it it's very weak if we can get this down to two Pokemon though two aside we can perish we can maybe do something it's not gonna be easy though Rayquaza are gonna come back in um hmm what could we do could we hmm I could uh, I forgot to put the Rockium on. Um, <laughs> I forgot to put the Rockium on. Landorus again. Again, I've done it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just protect Altera because um, we'll go Earthquake. Oh, do we go Rock Slide? Rock Slide might be better, to be honest. Yeah, we'll go Protect on Altera and just Rock Slide. Because then it should put Rayquaza in range for a uh, Hyper Voice. And then we can, we can potentially just two rock slides should get Incineroar as well. Dragon Ascent, yeah, going to double up into that slot, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, we do hit the rock slide. Hopefully this puts the ray in range for... Yeah, and it, uh, there we go. Is a rock slide going to be enough to get the Incineroar now? That's the thing. I don't know if it is. Let's go protect on Landorus, because I don't think... 
I think the the requires are definitely Dragon Essence, Altaria. Um, the Incineroar probably attacks into the Landorus, I would imagine. The Dragon Ascent, yeah. It's all about whether we take this. I'm hoping we do. I'm hoping this is something I've calced for. Oh man! That is so close. Okay. <laughs> it's life orbed as well. I should have picked up on that earlier. Oh, we don't get the Incineroar! We needed to get the Incineroar! Oh, so sad. So sad. And it's going to be Kyogre in the back. Hopefully the Incineroar... Oh, where's it going? Is it going into Landorus? Yeah, it must be. Are you going into Altaria? That would kind of seal the game up, I think, if you do. Yeah, it's into Landorus, so that's... I guess we, we possibly could get our Perish song off. I don't know if we're going to be able to. If it's Kyogre, it's likely that I will outspeed our Altaria. That's the, that's the big problem. Um... A win con is if it's Ferrothorn. Kyogre. Kyogre. Okay. Um, I just don't think Parasong's going to cut it here. It's definitely not. Um, now we can Earthquake. And protect Altaria. But then, hmm, then we're going to need a flinch, aren't we? We're going to need Rock Slide Flinch. So we could Rock Slide Flinch here and Perish Song. But then we're still going to need like a couple of Protects. But we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Flinch Squad, let's do this. Oh, man. When things go bad to worse. Rockslide hits, so we'll get the Incineroar. It's all about flinching the Kyogre. Come on, let's get some like 2015 style points about this this turn, Landorus. Come on, you know you want to do it. Never! Ah, oh, come on. Landorus. Yeah, okay, well, our sub, our sub goes. We need a flinch. We need a flinch. We need a flinch. We need some flinches. Okay, we need some serious flinches here. Okay, so we'll go for the rock slide. Looks like it's not going to end too well for us, but we'll never say never. We'll never say never. Okay, rock slide. Single target. Are those rocks even sharper? Come on, Landorus. Do this. Bad cat. Bad flying bird cat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good game to my opponent. It's because we're not bringing dustmen. I'm gonna put a pin and pin it on that. But um, no. Losing Evelta when we did um, <clears throat> wasn't the best. Uh, I think he, like we needed Evelta for the end game, a hundred percent for the Kyogre and losing it like we did to the Rayquaza with the extreme speed put us in a bit of a hole and it was a bit too difficult to come out from I think after that uh, Altaria just not pulling its weight either which is a bit of a shame but um, let's keep our chins up we've still got some matches left that we can claw things back from um, so we've just got to try and just carry on and take note I think of things that we're struggling against and things what isn't quite working because that's when we go back to the drawing board and th and that's where we make improvements obviously a lot a lot along the line and you know the, one of the things why i do this battle series like i do it is because it's a good example for especially newer players with how to delve into like correcting issues with their teams you know Hopefully me doing this now can say, right, well, what have we learned this week from, like say we've only done, what will this be, the eighth match this week. Um, eight matches, which is nothing in testing terms either. Eight matches is nothing. But what we're doing is we're identifying areas where we're thinking, right, well, we've already said nature's madness on Tapu Fini is definitely something that would be very useful for us. Um, the Skull's Grace, we haven't really been utilizing it very much. We could maybe squeeze in the Nature's Madness as well. We've also talked about the EV spread on the Altaria for sure. We need to definitely look at that. 
maybe look at flamethrower because we're not really utilizing it at all what other options there have we got and then obviously um areas like the Valtor, maybe the substitute on the landris is that really useful or is u-turn better there but they're just some examples anyway so you can get so much information and it's taking the the bad parts of the matches and really capitalizing on them and changing stuff but we've got our next opponent we've got scott up playing a very similar team to what we've got so we'll hop into team and we haven't got long left, so we need to be pretty quick with our selections here. So he's got Dustman and Krasma, Tapu Fini, Amoongus, Tapu Lele, Incineroar, and Ivelto. Now, one of the things that does worry me here is the Amoongus and the, uh, its ability to spore, um, obviously. And the switch in from that Tapu Lele as well to override our terrain. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I think Ivelto is very important for us here. Um... I think Raichu, mm, Alteria could be really important for us here. We could go Alteria, to be honest. We need to watch out for that Ultra Necrozma, Dustman and Necrozma. Um, let's go Alteria, let's bring our Necrozma, and let's bring Tapu Fini. I'm not too worried about fake out support. Um, yeah, and good luck to Scott. So yeah, the Amoongus is the one thing that can cause us a lot of issues especially if it spores our Ivelto puts us in a bit of an awkward position um, but as, as hard as it is for us to knock out his Ivelto I think it's just as hard for him to knock out ours I mean you've got to really utilize that Tapu Lele that's a big a big area that he's got to make sure he's utilizing Um we are gonna see the Amoongus and Ivelto come out for my opponent so um, I think what I would like to probably do is switch into Tapu Fini here. Now this is the problem. If we see the Velta switch out into... And it could go Hyper Voice. That's the big thing here. Um, into Lele. That would be bad because then he can spore us. Uh, we're not going to do very much to the Amoongus. But... We can get some nice damage onto this Ivelto, which frees up and makes things a lot easier for our Duskman to cross my later in the game. So that's like mission one for us, so to speak. Um, so yeah, we'll Mega Evolve with Altaria. Um, be nice to see us do some decent. And we've also got the Flamethrower that we can throw out onto that Amoongus as well. Uh, this is where the Nature's Madness would be a little bit better, potentially, on... Um, So we'll get the Hyper Voice. I'd imagine the Amoongus goes for the Spore here. And that you can guarantee next turn uh, we will see the Tapu Lele switch in for that Ivelto. Um, that's why I think I'm going to go into Necrozma with Finny. And do you go for the Spore onto the Finny though? I think you probably do out of everything. Um... Do I just go for a flamethrower into the Amoongus? I think so, just to get some damage off onto it. Yeah, here we go. There's the Lele coming in. Oh, it's not. It's the Krozma. Okay. Okay. I don't mind this too much. Unless we see clear smog coming out from the Amoongus. Maybe just to get some damage onto Altaria. Might have Sludge Bomb as well. Something else that we need to watch out for. Flamethrower does a nice chunk of damage. Uh, we are going to see... Yeah. Okay, so that's been removed. So I think what I'll do here is go for um, go for the Sunsteel Strike and switch into Valtor. Now I'm going to Ultra Burst, and I'm going to go for the Sunsteel Strike into Amoongus, pick up the knockout there, and I kind of half expect uh, the Valtor to come back in on that slot. Um, and we'll get Iveltal in on our side of the field, so at least we're pressuring their Duskmane. Uh, whether it's Duskmane or Ultra Necrozma is another thing. So, there's a Misty Seed activating, finally. A bright light hits the sky. Ultra Necrozma bursts out. Here we go. So, Amoongus going for Rage Powder, which is fine. We wanted rid of the Amoongus. We know how much of a problem that is for Iveltal. 
Um, we'll get the Sunsteel Strike there. And I wonder if we'll see... I mean, what's the opposing Duskman going to do? Interesting to see. Those Earth Power going to attack into us. But that's kind of why I went for the, the Ultra Burst. Because I, I thought, if I stay in Duskman, <laughs> he's going to likely go the Earth Power. Um, so we see Tapu Lele now hit the field. It is going to get its uh, terrain activated. Uh, we can get rid of that straight away by um, switching into our Tapu Fini. And also, in a way, scouting out what this Tapu Lele is. Is it scarfed? I would bet my bottom dollar on it, but you know, you can't always bet on that because sometimes. Um, and more and more frequently, I think we're seeing less and less scarf tapu leles. So that's the that's the other thing. Uh, so we'll just preserve Necrozma for a little bit later on in the game. We'll get the Misty Seed up uh, with our Eveltal and Misty Terrain with our Tapu Fini. Um, and then the Necrozma is going to go for the Ultra Burst. I wonder what it does from here though. Generally doesn't have a way to really hit Eveltal. I'm going to see a Moonblast from the Lele. It is Scarfed, of course. Um, so that's something we can make sure that we we pin down later on. And a Sunsteel Strike. Interesting into Eveltal. Not quite enough, though. As we do get a Snarl, it misses the Tapu, uh, the tapu Lele. That's really frustrating that we missed that. Because um, we're going to have to... Go for an icy win now, and we're gonna have to go for a protect. Oh, That's frustrating, and I don't think after one icy wind, Ivelta will outspeed the Tapu Lele, which is the the most frustrating thing. We really needed the snarl. I know Ivelta would still be in a position where the Moonblast could still pick us up, but it just makes it easier for switching around if we get that snarl onto the Tapu Lele. Um, but never mind. Tapu Fini on the field now, so the main thing and we'll just protect the Veltal and there's a Moonblast um, picking out a type of thing yeah special attack drop not so helpful and we're gonna see the Z move here it's gonna be into Finny I'm hoping we take this the psychic terrain isn't up it is minus one We're going to have to cut this as well, so we'll be right back. Spirit Bomb into Tapu Fini, and let's see what the damage is. And we don't take it, even minus one. It's too powerful. It's just ridiculous Z move, isn't it? Um, so we don't get the icy wind off there, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, we need Altaria. Uh, let's bring in Necrozma. Mm. I'm not going to go for the Z move. I'm going to go for the Lele. And. Alteria going to come in. It's going to take a Moonblast. It's not ideal. I really need to kind of preserve Alteria for later on in this game. I'm going to try and get a Tailwind up. With Ivalta, I don't think we're going to be able to. No, definitely not. Oh, we might be able to then. Huh. Goes for the... Okay, since just right now, we're not going to be able to. No way. No. The Icy Wind Miss is the biggest thing. The Icy Wind Miss, huge for us. Yeah, uh, we needed that onto the Tapulele. Oh, the Snarl, sorry. Not the... Yeah. Not that, not the icy wind miss. We didn't get an icy wind miss. We got the snarl miss, and now, and now it's all, it's all coming down. We just, I think it really highlighted the tapulele weakness we've got to the team. We need a way, like we needed to bring something where we could shut that down, stop it from. Ah, 
it probably doesn't matter. It probably doesn't matter. I'm just going to say good game. And I'm done with the team. I'm done. So we'll be back tomorrow to finish up with the team, though. But uh, it's not going well at the minute at all. So goes out sometimes doesn't it and um, maybe we need to look at how we're approaching the games uh, but more than likely need to switch things up a little bit because we're just weak to certain real threats in the format which is a little bit of a shame but um, thanks for tuning in guys have a great rest of your day and we'll be back to wrap up with this team tomorrow so until then take care and bye bye